fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Wow, okay, gang. I think that puts us in a great place to go ahead and find out where these two are going. All right, gents, who wants to go first? I want you to have the honors. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller is too much of a draw. Uh, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think us, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? <sighs> Let's see. Who's it gonna be? <clears throat> Whoa, Tommy, same question. Well, isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin, and can't break up this dynamic duo. But in this case, I'm Batman and you're Robin. I never said I wouldn't try to win back my whole position. Details rolling in, everybody, on today's crazy news. Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools' shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. What do you mean? We've done everything that you asked of us. How many of those do you guys have? Now, as I was saying, neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. It's a defense first team now. So I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. You understand? Well, you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. So I'm gonna rotate you guys. I'm gonna stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And you'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Coach, you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Well, that's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Go on, get out of here.
Well, there is no hint of fall here on this hot and humid Saturday afternoon. Students and alumni have made the early season pilgrimage to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami for the season opening kickoff classic on EA Sports. It's the home state Florida Gators taking on a team that's made the long trek cross country, the Oregon Ducks. So here we go. It all starts now. A new season of college football underway here in Miami. This will be fielded inside the five. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. 34 yard line. A big test ahead. His first collegiate snap coming right now as the Ducks have it first and 10. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. First and 10. The, the Ducks come up now first and 10. Caught by his... And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21 yard line. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. That's good for another Oregon first. They go play action here on first down. That is caught inside the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. From 21 yards away. And the Ducks have taken the early lead. Well, Coach O'Brien, he could not have asked for a better start for this offense, getting a score on their opening possession. And I guess maybe that justifies the call they made with which quarterback to start. I'm just wondering, from everything we heard this offseason, what do you think, partner? Did he flip a coin and that would start a quarterback? Or did he really evaluate them in the preseason? But look, that first drive, first career start against a big-time opponent, packed stadium, noise coming from everywhere. How about how he handled this? Took the team right downfield put six on the board and how about the statement of Tommy Matthews on the sideline he's telling him this is my job to lose on first down it's white over the middle and it's incomplete Intended for number eight. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there there weren't really any throwing lanes but the best part for him he's got second and third down to fall back on and call it no gain on the run there and now they'll be looking at a third down no gain on the play. It's third and ten. <laughs> to throw on third down. White. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. They'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. That'll be a gain of 16. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. This is Gibbons over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 25 yards that time. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now he's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. Quintez Anderson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ducks have further their advantage. Oh, and now they're going to fake him. The conversion is no good on the fake extra point. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare him to do that? I was going to ask you, what maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film and goes to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there 
was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. On the ground, Ellington. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That was a terrific play, causing a loss. As a middle linebacker, simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 47 yards. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Now Ellington. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He was brought five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Here's Ellington. And down inside the 15. Gain of 13. It's a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. At the 12-yard line. Now White with a first down throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. Second and ten. To throw again, White. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. From the shotgun, here's White. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. The storm windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. At their own 31-yard line. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. Now a play fake here. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Incomplete on the deep ball. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. He's going to, and that's caught inside the 30. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. At the 25-yard line. Now back to throw. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. That's good. The Ducks will come up now on a first and goal situation. They'll try to run down here with Ferguson. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the 7. A loss of two there, second down. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second down at seven. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah, the incomplete pass there, and you just you think about the quarterback position in college football. Kind of seems like once you get a guy developed, his four years are up just like that. He's off to the and that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Quintez Anderson on his way to a 